What's your favourite place you've performed in? It's difficult. The Vatican was pretty good. Wow. Oh, my wow. God. Yeah. Wow. How, how did you get to the Vatican? How does that happen? They call you. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's... A... <laughs> they said it was a private audience with the Pope. And later on, I found out there's like 500 million people watching. Good God, Russell. Hello. Oh. Sometimes it's good not to know, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. And I'm stood in the middle of it all like that with a mic. See. How did I get here? Good <laughs> God. Yeah. Some of his stories are just like actually unbelievable. He said he performed at the Vatican directly for the Pope. How do you? How does? How does this even come together? Um, yeah. Just. I can't even get I can't even get my words out to say how in awe I am of some of his opportunities. Now, didn't you suffer from a tumour? Yeah, I had two. Yeah. Two? Yeah. The second one was the one. Because the first one wasn't, to be fair, wasn't really life-threatening. It was really painful and I nearly lost my vision. But the second one... Holy shit. I was at home, went to bed, and didn't wake up the next morning because it had hemorrhaged. Oh, God. My assistant came upstairs and found me, called the paramedics, and they carted me out of the house. And I knew I was in trouble, because the paramedic, as I'm walking down, kept saying, stay with us, Russell, stay with us. Oh. Keep your eyes open, pal, stay with us. Got to hospital, and it was like, we need to operate on you. The one thing I remember is this guy who just kept saying, stay with us, pal, yeah. stay with us, stay with us, Russell. Think that helped. 100%, yeah. and it, well, the, it one of the most emotional things was I'd, I'd had the operation and everything turned out okay, thankfully. After I came out of intensive care, and I was, I was in bed and lying there, next thing I hear, this, this bloke comes in and he goes, hey, up, Mr Watson, how, how are you doing? It's nice to see you well. And I went, stay with us, pal, stay oh, with us. Oh, that was it. Yeah. Oh, mate, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a fascinating story that he has. I was not expecting that, but he's so open about it. It got me a bit, if I'm honest. Did you Around. see the light, Russell? You know they said you see light? Oh, Were you on? yeah. Big time. Really? I was in the MRI scanner, and then there was... I could see, like, this long strip. You know, like, when you were a kid and you used to keep your door open a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Light. It's like, yeah. A, like a light strip. Yeah. And I was lying in this thing thinking, if I go to that door, I'm out of here and the pain stops and I'm away. Yeah. And all I could think about was my kids. Yeah. And slowly, slowly, while I'm thinking about my children, the clatter, clatter. Came back. Came the back. MRI came back and I thought, I'm going to beat this. And that was it. Lad. Oh. I find it really difficult to talk okay. about. Really? Yeah, fair one. Yeah. Oh, cheers, big man.